All right, my little artists, we are going to do an art project based on the book Beautiful Oops, which I just read to you. And I love this book and it is full of fantastic ideas. And the beauty of this story and this project is you can't make a mistake because your mistakes turn into beautiful, magical things. So if I were going to use paint, and if you don't have paint at home, that's okay, you can do something else. Just do, so I have that. And then with a pencil, maybe just do a line with a pencil. And with a Sharpie, just do something there. And then with another pen. Okay, so we have these here. Take a moment and look at your lines, look at your oops, look at your little blobs and blobs, and go over those and think about what they can be. So if I'm looking, and I'll use my black marker to go over this and trace that line so you can see it on the camera. So if you're looking at this, so when I'm looking at this one, you know what I kind of see? I kind of see a shark. And we can make it a leopard shark and have it have some dots on it. Fill in his eye here. some seaweed down here. We could do some sand. You get the idea. So kind of a shark guy right there. And if you're looking at your pencil line here, okay, and your Sharpie, this could be And the point of this is to draw fast. Don't worry if it doesn't look fantastic. Mine certainly doesn't look fantastic. Do some coconuts here. Maybe we can have the sun over here, some sand here, sandy beaches, maybe a bird flying overhead, maybe some water over here. The shark friend here can be swimming over here. And then if you're looking at this right here, take your blue marker. Maybe we'll do some kind of some kind of funky duck. I'm feeling the water thing today, obviously. This guy here, what do we think that looks like? What about a snake, Mrs. Ooh, Hammond? I'm feeling snake too. Okay, so you're gonna wanna let that dry. Mine's almost dry. So if you're looking at this here, this definitely looks like a snake head. You can trace that. You could give it a snake background. Maybe there could be some rocks there. You could do a pattern once it dries on it. Maybe have a tongue coming out with the head here. do some shapes, do some maybe designs on the back like this. Give it a pattern, maybe you can do an AB pattern on the back. So you get the idea with the beautiful oops. It can be anything you want it to be. You can do it for your mom and dad. You can do it for another adult. You can do it for a brother or sister. And really there's no right or wrong way to do this. It's just a fun way to experiment. You can also take pieces of paper if you want to. So if you were looking at something and you had an extra piece of paper here, maybe take your piece of paper, squish that up, and start looking at that. See if that can be something. So maybe place that down and look at that for a little bit and see what you see in that. So as I'm looking at this, I almost see sort of a hummingbird's head here with the beak here, and maybe the wing here, something like that, another bird flying. Do you see that, where it's a wing? And then we have our beak here. So there's all different ways to do this project. So give me four ideas, four beautiful oops on four separate pieces of paper. This can be one of your ideas and let me know how it goes. Thanks so much. See you soon.